Hey everybody, this is Deb with Truthification Chronicles, and guess what Diane Feinstein has been up to, and not just her, but all the Democrats on the Judiciary Committee in the Senate. Yep, they are demanding that the Attorney General Barr recuse himself from matters related to Ukraine because of concerns about his role in President Trump's efforts to damage a political opponent and undermine the Russia investigation. Somebody needs to tell him that the Russia investigation is like over and Mueller didn't find anything. So no collusion here. So why are you beating a dead horse? Anyway, so she posted it. I'm going to show you the original here because you know me. I like to look at the originals. And this was dated October 24th to William P. Barr. There we go. And we urge you to recuse yourself from investigations into the Trump Ukraine matters, including any investigations involving Rudy Giuliani, Lev Parnas, or Igor Fruman, as well as investigations into the origins of the Russia investigation. See, that is desperation, folks. They are so desperate to make them stop looking into the origins of the Russia investigation because they know what's going to happen when it comes out and the American people learn what they did. Federal ethics guidelines. They're the ones lecturing on ethics guidelines. Oh, oh. Man, they just are so filled with hubris. Oh, federal ethics guidelines prohibit federal employees from participating in any matter in which their impartiality could be questioned, including matters in which they were personally involved or about which they have personal knowledge. Okay, if you take that, then no Republican can ever be involved in any investigation into Democrats because their impartiality would be questioned. Oh, they just really. Anyway, whoever wrote this did not have any knowledge of how to do footnotes because they didn't bother putting these down in footnotes. They just put them in line. Anyway, previous attorneys general have sought the counsel of the relevant senior career department officials to determine whether they should recuse themselves from matters where their impartiality might reasonably be questioned. They asked for the man to be recused way back at the very beginning. They tried to get him recused with all things having to do with the Mueller investigation. They tried to get Barr to recuse on that, too. They are so desperate. This is really obvious here. Anyway, the White House's memorandum of President Trump's July 25th phone call with Ukraine President Zelensky suggests that you may have personal knowledge or involvement in President Trump's request that Ukraine pursue investigations to serve the president's personal political interests. Well, first of all, it was not to serve the president's personal political interests. It was to find out what really happened in our elections in 2016. But, oh, no, they don't look at it that way. That's not the lie that perpetuates their narrative. You know, you got that going. Plus, it didn't really say anything about Barr having knowledge. It just was Trump wanted Barr to get in contact with Zelensky because they were dealing with corruption from the 2016 election. And then it goes on. During that phone call, President Trump referenced you by name or title at least five times including mentioning you in tandem with Rudy Giuliani three times. Oh, how awful of that. This raises legitimate questions about your knowledge of the activities of Mr. Giuliani and others, as well as the actions that you've taken and your discussions with the president and White House about these investigations. This is what the attorney general does. They investigate things. They, they look for criminality. And so why in the world would you be questioning him? Can you imagine them ever addressing Eric Holder or Loretta Lynch this way and asking these questions, demanding these things? You know, would the Republicans ever do that? No, they wouldn't have been able to. They would have been laughed out of Congress for doing it. Well, this is probably the response they're going to get from Bill Barr because he already spoke. He's not going to put up with it. And he remember, they tried to get him to recuse before. He said no. 
and he kind of gave them the middle finger, basically. I mean, not literally, but, you know, figuratively he did. And so I think that's going to be the result on this one, too. For example, after receiving the preliminary Justice Department Inspector General report on the Russia investigation's origins last month, you reportedly traveled to Italy to conduct your own fact-finding along with U.S. Attorney John Durham. Oh, gasp! You did what? You went on a fact-finding trip? Oh, my goodness! That must be like Nancy Pelosi going on a fact-finding trip to Afghanistan and Jordan. Hmm, kind of interesting. You did so after President Trump told President Zelensky that he would like to have the Attorney General call to discuss an investigation meant to, and here's where they put their little slant in there, to discredit Special Counsel Mueller's findings regarding Russian election interference. Yeah. No, they're just trying to figure out what really happened because it appears a lot of it started in Ukraine. Impartial enforcement of the law is essential to give the American public confidence in the Justice Department's work. Your personal connection to these matters creates the appearance of a conflict of interest and gives rise to questions about whether the department is being used to advance the president's personal interests. Accordingly, we request that you recuse yourself and identify the appropriate official who will be responsible for these matters. We also request that you confirm whether you consulted department ethics officials regarding recusal and provide copies of any ethics guidance that Justice Department officials have provided in connection with these matters. Now, folks, here's for the really salient part of this. Let's look at the signatures. Okay, now remember, they're saying you need to recuse yourself because you have personal interest in this. Okay, let's look at them. We have Feinstein and Leahy and Durbin and White House. Oh, look, Amy Klobuchar. So Amy Klobuchar is saying Attorney General Barr needs to recuse himself from this Ukraine investigation because he might have a personal stake in it. But yet Amy Klobuchar is making the statement that someone else has to recuse themselves when she herself will benefit from Donald Trump being impeached. Hmm. Gosh, and golly, and gee whiz. Well, let's just go on. Yeah, here's some of the other ones. Oh, look, Cory Booker. And what's this? Kamala Harris. Oh, my goodness. So there are three candidates right there who are currently opponents of Donald Trump. And they're trying to say that Barr needs to recuse himself for a conflict of interest. Oh, but there's no conflict of interest here. Just move on, people. No need to look. There's no conflict of interest. Just, oh, <laughs> their hypocrisy is so frustrating sometimes. And they weren't just satisfied to do that letter. They also sent this one to this Lee Loftus, who is the Assistant Attorney General for Administration. Okay, and with that, they're saying, well, we're writing regarding Attorney General Barr's supervision of investigations related to the Trump-Ukraine matters and the origins of the Russia investigation. We are enclosing our letter because they wanted to make sure he saw the letter that they just sent to Barr. We are closing our letter to the Attorney General, urging him to recuse himself from these matters. As noted in that letter, federal ethics guidelines prohibit him from participating in any matter in which his impartiality could be questioned, including matters in which he was personally involved or about which he has personal knowledge. We write to ask you, as the department's designated agency ethics officer, whether the attorney general has been advised on this matter by department ethics officials. If so, we ask that you provide us with a copy of any guidance that was provided. And, of course, you've got the same people. I'm telling you, I would write them all back and say, now, wait a minute. There's three signatures on here that should not be on here if you're talking about a conflict of interest. So, eh, <laughs> Barr is probably going to not be real happy with this, and he's definitely not going to acquiesce to what they're asking. He will not recuse himself. This is definitely 
making them scared, though. You can tell. I mean, just read what's in their letters. It's like they are so desperate. Well, anyway, so that's what I've got for you on this one. I just wanted to share this with you and let you know what was going on behind the scenes. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all later. Bye.